Just three days away here in Pennsylvania, voters this weekend are experiencing pitches from three U.S. presidents. ABC's Mary Alice Parks is here with us with more. It's good to see you in person this good morning. Good to see you too. Eva, good morning. It is really the final sprint. Already across the country, more than 37 million Americans have voted and so much attention here in Pennsylvania. This one state could completely decide control of the Senate, and that's why the biggest names in politics are all here today. With just three days to go, the battle for the Senate, a dead heat. Across the country, polls show several Senate races could be incredibly close. From Wisconsin, where Democrats are trying to oust a sitting Republican senator. We're talking about hard-earned, hard-fought rights and freedoms that are on the chopping block right now. To multiple states like Washington, Nevada, and Arizona, where Republicans are now gaining ground and looking to beat incumbent Democrats. We need a red wave badly, right? And here in Pennsylvania, both parties all in. President Biden, former President Obama, and former President Trump all headed to this crucial battleground state this weekend to campaign. Overnight, Biden telling reporters he's feeling optimistic. Democrats will pick up seats in the Senate. We're going to win this time around. I, think. I feel really good about our chances. The open Senate race here in Pennsylvania between Democratic Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman and Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz, a total toss up. I really dedicated my career to help young people get their GEDs to run for mayor of a community, to fight against gun violence, and to try to create economic development. Fetterman making his closing argument, saying his experience suffering a massive stroke this year has made him more empathetic. To stand up for anyone that ever got knocked down that has to get back up. And Fetterman getting a boost from Oprah, who famously introduced the country to Dr. Oz. If I lived in Pennsylvania, I would have already cast my vote for John Fetterman. On the trail, Oz making his case. The land of plenty can be ours if we don't overregulate and overtax ourselves. I believe that we can have a budget that works and doesn't recklessly spend our children's money. Now, Republicans these last few days definitely have more spring in their step. But Democrats tell me that they feel good about those early voting numbers and that they're planning to win this in these key states, block by block, city by city, turning out their voters. Eva? Yeah, it is very close in a lot of these states. And here in Pennsylvania, you can feel that you are in a battleground for this midterm election. The billboards, the ads, even the text messages bombarding voters that we're hearing from so many of them. And as Mary Alice mentioned this weekend, both sides are going to be bringing in the big guns. Both of these candidates really trying to drive home their final messages. Fetterman saying how you heard in Mary Alice's piece, his experience with a stroke will make him a stronger, more empathetic senator. Meanwhile, Dr. Oz drilling down on what he says are the key issues of this election, the economy and crime. On the ground here, we are hearing from voters that this election is really about the issues for them. Those issues Issues, the things that directly impact their families and day-to-day -day life weighing on their minds as they decide who gets their vote. The economy, crime, abortion, education, all coming up in my conversations with these voters. Many telling me they don't see either Fetterman or Oz as perfectly aligned with their values or stances on the issues. And at this point, they're trying to have to determine what they think matters most to them right now. Now, almost everyone I've talked to telling me they are exhausted from partisan politics. And it's a similar story across the country that we're seeing heading into this election day. The issues top of mind for most voters are the economy and inflation, abortion, another top issue. And of course, some saying crime or education are front and center in their minds as we head into this final stretch. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.